All right, so we're working with categorical variables, and we want to compute some probabilities based on those categorical variables to predict what we expect to happen. So suppose we're just going to invest randomly into bond funds. We've got the bond fund data right here. Normally we wouldn't invest randomly, but you can imagine if we select something randomly, we can predict using probabilities what would happen. And so we want to look at the type of fund and also the risk of the fund. So if we randomly select, what's the probability of different kinds of funds and different types of risk associated with those funds? And so in Minitab, for us to summarize the data quickly, we're going to use the Stat menu. So we're going to go to Stat, Tables, and then we're going to go to Cross Tabulation and Chi-Square. Once we're in this dialog box, we can see that already the display is going to show counts of data, which would just basically give us a contingency table that we've been working with. In order to create a contingency table, we're going to need to choose the categorical variables shown in the rows column. Well, we want to look at type of fund, so I'll choose that for rows by double clicking on it. And for columns, we want risk. And these need to be categorical variables, otherwise it looks really messy. It doesn't tell us much. Now, for display, if we just want to summarize the data, we want counts. So let's look at what that looks like. And so it gives us the output here in the session window. And it summarizes the data for us in a contingency table. And so using the formulas for probability, you could compute a joint probability if I randomly select a fund and it's an intermediate government fund and it has above average risk. That's a joint probability. 29 divided by 184 would give me that probability. But Minitab actually can compute all that for us. So if you are more comfortable going to this point and then using a calculator to compute the probabilities, that's okay. Or you could use the functionality in Minitab to compute those probabilities for you. So I'm going to go back to the most recently used dialog box using this button. Click on it. and under display, I want to show the row percents, the column percents, and the total percents under each of those count values. And that basically computes our probability values for us. So I'm going to push OK. And now my output looks a little bit different. There's more numbers shown in the contingency table. Now, it gives us a key down here. It shows the percentage of row shows just below the count value. Percentage of column below that and the percent of total below that. So that this percentage right here, 15.76% of the funds are intermediate government funds. And so if I'm randomly choosing something that is above average and an intermediate government fund, this joint probability is given as 15.76%. So the row, or I should say the percent of total gives us joint and marginal probabilities. And I'm just typing it in there so I can remember. Okay. And so if I want to look at a marginal probability, what's the probability that I choose randomly an above average risk fund from this group? Well, I go to above average. I go down to the column, and the bottom percentage gives me the percent of the total. So this above average is 32.07% of the total funds in the group. So there's a 32% chance that if I'm choosing randomly, I get an above average fund. Okay. Now, these percent of row and percent of column values are nice because they actually give us the conditional probability values based on what we're conditioning. And so if I'm looking at percentage of the row, just below the count value, above average funds are 33.33% of intermediate government funds since the row shows intermediate government funds. This percentage of row gives conditional probability
conditioned on type of fund. And so the probability would look like this. Probability of risk given type. And so if we already know the type, what's the probability that we get a certain risk of a fund? That's what this row total is. And since that's conditioning on rows, the column is obviously if I'm conditioning on the column variable, which would be risk. So I'm going to say conditional probability conditioned on risk of fund, which would be probability of a certain type of fund being selected given that we already know that it is has a certain risk okay and so that's kind of how you can use Minitab to compute those conditional joint and marginal probabilities for you given a set of categorical data